Hello everyone, welcome back. In this uh, uh, episode I'm actually going to talk about a little uh, backpack or everyday carry kind of situation. So uh, um, my out outdoor activity is increasing. Um, holiday, summer, trips, stuff like that. And so um, I decided to get a little um, a little backpack and I was looking around seems like a lot of things about backpacks and carrying have changed especially outdoor uh, for an active outdoor um, activity or a person who engages in a lot of outdoor activity uh, not that I do much hiking or anything but I do carry a lot of things um, and I kind of want to share this little backpack here because if you look, it's really, really small, really tiny. It's not that big. It's uh, maybe eight inches. Well, here's a sheet of paper, and this is an eight by ten and a half, or yeah, probably eight by ten. And this should give you an idea of the size of it. So let's turn it over. And this is kind of what it looks like on the other side. Eight and eight sheet, eight, eight, eight by ten, eight and a half by ten sheet of paper. So this gives you an idea of the size. So, anyways, so really, really small. Um, what makes this a little different? This is from Walmart, by the way. It's called. Uh, uh, Ozark Trail Outdoor Equipment. Let's see if you can see that. And I got this one in red for a reason because I want to make sure that I can always see it at all times. And you can see um, I've got it full, but I got I just pick it up with one hand. Um, that's my left hand, and this is my right hand. So, not too bad. <clears throat> it's really small, easy to carry. And what I noticed right off the bat, it uh, it has one of these things. It's one of those. What do they, what do they call them? Camelbacks or something? Or I'm not sure. But uh, it has a place for you to hydrate yourself. You can actually fill this water and just suck out of this. So it's good for hiking, uh, trekking if you're into that kind of stuff. So you can tube it to the left, tube it to the right. However, um, really comfortable side um, these things here this around here and uh, the padding on the on the bottom kind of makes a natural curve right about here as you can kind of see it makes a natural curve here before it straightens out here there's something there's that little thing in here I'll show you but anyways um, I wanted something small something light and in red so here it is <clears throat> so I'll show you what's what I put into it and I <coughs> I pretty much brought several things with me to Walmart to make sure that I, I got the right size bag and so um, I wanted the smallest that can fit everything I want and so let's let's just start with the top part here as you can see some of this I haven't even undone yet um, but I think it works just fine as is, so I mean I don't do. Um, but um, right here, there's a little pocket right here that will hold my fanny pack. Isn't that amazing? Inside here holds my fanny pack and uh, for me to put on. So uh, if you know what's in this fanny pack, um, right now it's uh, I don't have my phone in here because I'm recording with my phone but I'll have my you know cards uh, some cash in here and then typically I didn't put this in here but I can and I still fit in there uh, my, my mobile Wi-Fi so just pop that in there and uh, it still fits in there it's not a, not a big deal and so so if I get a little tired or part of my uh, 
preparedness bag, that's what I like to call it, it actually will fit in there. And another thing I did was, uh, so I got this, I might as well just wear this now, clip it on. Alright, so I got, oh yeah, I never showed you what's, well, if you know what's in my, um, if y'all know what's in here, um, uh, my gun is in here, my Walter uh, P22, just one clip, uh, this is just me, um, when I feel safe around uh, wherever I am, I'll carry the, the safest gun I have that I know that I want to carry around. I always carry towel in here because they make for nice uh, makeshift holster, kind of anything just to soften the, the gun a little bit. Anyway, so that's kind of what's what's in here. So, so I'll clip that on, and so it uh, what it does is it leaves a little empty void in here. Oh yeah, I also have. Uh, I still always carry a small little towel with me in there. And one of the main reasons I, I do that, I'm finding, is that uh, it just fills the bottom part. So it has a nice, when I set it down, it has something flat. And so it just, it can just kind of sit up on its own without me having to worry about stabilizing it. So, and it's a nice cushion because sometimes you'll just put it down and you don't want to slam whatever's in there onto the ground. So I always put a little bit of put a little towel in here and plus it never hurts to have a towel. You never know. So so it leaves a little empty spot here when I wear my fanny pack. And uh, what's nice about this small little I guess backpack if you want to call it. I'm not sure what they call these things these days, is that you can wear it up front on your chest. And uh, you'll see that it becomes a nice, nice little pocket. Which, oh. Nice little pocket here. And uh, let me see what else I got on the. Let me, sh let me show you. Uh, there is something on the outside here. And um, there's a little strap here, which I haven't undone. There's a little thing that tab that ties it together. I haven't changed it. I guess it just keeps whatever what you have in here. But this is a. Harbor Freight freebie I recently got with the solar panel, which is in here as well. But uh, I put it in a little plastic thing, just because you never need a bag. And plus, I bought some earphones or ear earbuds um, on the other side. On this side, same thing. But uh, I just decided to put my earbuds here, just somewhere to put it. My other ones broke or are not working, and so these are the little attachment for the outside. So that's what I'm carrying in here, and it's a uh, this is a little freebie Harbor Freight. Let's see, so it has the uh, outside lights here, and then has another one. Turn it off, and then has one right here, LED freebie from Harbor Freight. So it kind of fits right here in the in the side, and uh, now I'm going to use it to. I'm going to show you how deep this is. So I'm going to wear this and uh, use the flashlight, but you can see right here that uh, that's pretty deep. And so you could just plop things along if you wear it on your chest. So you can wear this thing over your Strap the back, pack, uh, put it the other way, and you'll have it on the chest. Right, let me see, this is flashlight too bright. Let's see, let's shine through. So, kind of get a better idea of how big it is. And you can see the, the towel right in there. So, you can kind of put things in here your trash, you know, your plastic wrapper, your empty bottle stuff, especially if you're going someplace where there, uh, there's no one to pick up after you. So, I've got that here, put that right over here, I'll 
just have a nice little towel in there. So there's that. Um, and it's such a small package, but I got it specifically for me. And so um, the second part right here, loosen these things here. There's a lot of buckles on these things. I'm pretty sure they're going to keep you pretty busy if you don't. Uh... Keep it all together or. Have it organized. So there you go. And then the second part here. Is. Is the uh, are these things? I mean, if you've seen some of my previous episodes, uh, you know these are solar panels. I got one, two in here, and also a larger towel. This is a bigger towel, more it's more rectangle, longer towel. I have it in here just to again fill that empty space on the bottom to give it that nice little firm roundness in here. So I got two and you've seen this. Uh, I put some carabiners on here. I found that, um, that I usually hang this on the window like this and I use the bigger clip to clip because you need a lot of room to clip onto something. The smaller clip just to put on here. I originally bought the smaller clips, but I found out that uh, trying to open this up and clip onto something is really hard. You need something bigger. So um, I had some of these laying around, and uh, you can see it's it's already red from the uh, from the light above. I doubt it'll charge anything, but um, if you have it out in the full sun, it works really well. And so that's kind of what I recommend. And uh, yeah, I just uh, put it on my window in the morning or in the afternoon and just lay it down. Here's another nice thing, and I'll show you a little bit later. And uh, I see, I, I usually just wrap it around the USB charging cord. Just I just wrap it around, but I'll just be quick about it. Just show you how, if you want to, you can be really quick about it. Just fold it, and then has a little Velcro right here. You just, there you go, done. Folds up. Um, <clears throat> anyways, so, didn't come with USB, so I had to buy one, but that's what I'm going to use. Mainly to charge my phone, my mobile gadgets. And what I like about it is, if you do it the right way, this one's the same thing, a little different, same, same system here. Um, this one actually has a little connector for your iPhone people and so I got this one for me and my, my kids because they have iPhones I have Android so, and that's just the way it is but uh, let's see if this charges and you can see the lights turning slowly turning red right here so if I, if I close this see it's dead see it's turning on dead turning on Anyways, so uh, what I like about this is that uh, if you're out, you can uh, lay this on the ground and uh, you kind of, they're not, uh, you can't put a series into them, you can't uh, wire them so they're in a series. It recommends you not to do that and so I'm not going to mess with it. Um, by themselves, they, they charge. Uh, my my uh, cell phone, my Android, and my wireless Wi-Fi um, 
what I've noticed is that they do charge, they maintain their charge if you, while you're using them when you have them hooked up. And this is on full sunlight. Um, otherwise, you have to actually turn off the devices to get them fully tapped, and that could take all day, actually. But what I like is that you can lay it on the ground, and this side has the Velcro, this side has the hooks, and so you can just just lay them side by side, and instead of having them loose, you can have them loose, but you can also have them kind of together, like this. See that? So now. You still have two wires, but you got to like, it looks like a four panel and you don't quite lose them. See how they velcroed on that one down that side. So you got two power, two power cords, you know, to work with and kind of looks like a nicer setup and it might be possible to, to, to hook, use the hooks to have them hang somewhere, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. It's, it gets a little heavy, but definitely you can lay them on the ground and then just move them around and they'll stick together. And that's kind of what I like about it. So I might actually get, I might actually get a third one. I like them so much. Wait, let me just put that away for now and I'll just tie up the wires. So I got that in there and I'll put all these back in properly. The way I like it. So, so, you know, so we got that. And so I'm not really using most of this space. I could probably use it a little bit more, but that's what I got in there for now. Of course, this is all going to change according to how I do things. Uh, the last part, the last part here, uh, and it does come with little two carrying handles here. One to carry, one to make this hang. Um, the last part here is the main uh, compartment. This is the compartment that I was really impressed with. You're not going to believe what I've been able to put in there, but um, so. So, anyways, here's the um, the actual thing that holds the liquid, and uh, so I looped this thing so it comes right here. Before you said just hang all the way down here, um, hang all the way down here. So I shortened it up a little bit by looping it in right here. So this is the water thing and the cap for it on the inside. I haven't used it for drinking yet, um, mainly because I want to keep it light and slim. I'm only using it because it actually holds my tough book in here really well and uh, I don't need any protection for the tough book because the tough book is designed to take kind of hits that way um, I just wanted to slip it in and it works really really well with this size so so the towels are right here and again um, Put a towel in here. This one's a larger towel. So again, when I, when I put something in here, it's just it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna break. I don't want to. I don't want to drop the put the laptop down and whoosh. so it just gives a little flat stability so it can hold up. But we got another towel in there to keep it straight and kind of give it a nice round base on the bottom. And uh, that's it. That's all I have. So this is basically what it holds. My my Panasonic uh, Toughbook. And so um, the reason I have all this stuff is because I do a lot of uh, Bitcoin trading. I need a computer, a minimum of a computer, or a you know, smartphone device, which mine's particular is Android, uh, but Apple or whatever, some kind of device or a tablet or something. And then of course, um, an internet connection. And so this is my mobile 
wireless Wi-Fi. So these are the things that I, this is the whole point of why I'm doing all this. Is this is the whole point of why I'm doing all this is because um, I basically trade Bitcoin for a living. And so I got to always have a computer um, or a mobile device of some kind uh, where I can access the internet and then I need something to actually access the internet so <coughs> there's a lot of uh, Wi-Fi places I can go to um, my house included and uh, uh, other public places so you can do that but sometimes when you don't um, you it kind of helps to have one of these and so that's why hence the solar power, uh, solar charging panels with, uh, with all these, all this setup and uh, that's the main reason so uh, I've been using it only for a day uh, almost two days now I have to tell you this whole setup you can literally um, if you're like me you're in front of a computer all day uh, especially working out of, the, out of the house or out of the office um, and you're your own um, uh, boss or you have that kind of uh, creative license to just work anywhere um, this is a pretty good setup um, I've taken it out to the community pool um, and uh, I really enjoyed using all this because it's uh, especially the solar chargers here because I can use my electronic devices longer than if I didn't have those. So now let me put everything back in. This is usually just clipped onto my belt. But it's usually just into my um, my fanny pack here. Let's put that back in. The phone is recording, obviously. So. Let me go ahead and put this, put everything back in, and so, water bottles here. So I do have a particular way I like to put this in. Have this in like that and you see it just amazingly it just when I took this out to, to Walmart and put it in here I was amazed that this could fit in this small thing I thought I needed something bigger and apparently not um, that was it I just slipped it right in and it's just you just have to zip it up and then there you go it's the top part you don't really need you don't put anything on here so there you go, that's the main part of it. And then the panels, you see how it just stands up? Let's see how it just stand up uh, because the towels really stabilize it. And then from here, it opens up pretty good too, so it's not like it's hard to access. Um, but, uh, put these panels in here. So, you know, I live my life pretty much in the 21st century, maybe if I live long enough the 20, 22nd century, or maybe we are in the 22nd century, and I look forward to looking, living long enough for the 23rd century, I'm not sure, 21st century or 22nd century, whatever century we're in, but uh, I live a modern life, and unfortunately, uh, you can't always be in front of a computer and a power source, but you can, um, I would argue, take that computer and power source with you now that um, we have all this available technology here. I mean, solar panels have been around, but only now have I gotten to the point where I can go someplace like Harbor Freight and just buy solar panels. It's kind of I, I kind of feel like I'm living in the future.
There we go. So that's kind of how I stow it away. So it's all in there ready. And uh, uh, it comes in handy. I mean, I actually like this. I bought another one. I might even buy a, uh, a third one. Um, just because I like it so much. I think I'm... That's one. I gotta do this one now. Try to hurry this up here. do is uh, put them back to back a little bit flatter that way instead of uh, out here in the front where they got this so kind of save some room on that put the canopy ears up on top there we go all set up of course uh, these away as well. I really like this too. This is free from Harbor Freight. Um, if you just buy something, anything there, and use the freebie coupon. I mean, it's. I could use this as a light too. See that? A little energy source of air, light. I'm walking around. And uh, this one, I'm just going to put my headphones back in because I just don't know where else to put them for now. And this is, uh, I just did this because I, I moved from wearing this on my back to my front, uh, to my back. Um, I actually put this in the front and I drive, put my seatbelt over this and put this in the front of me. It's really, really small enough to do that. Um, so, um, but unfortunately, uh, the little ties that hold them together right here, they, they connect here. This is for your waist. Um, Sometimes it gets in the way, so um, there's this little tying piece right here on the bottom, which this is what I, I've used it for this. So this little piece right here moves around. You can put it on one side. You, it originally came something like this. And I always wonder, like, what the hell is this for? What am I going to do with this? Um, but actually it does come in pretty handy. Um, let's see, it could be a little hook, whatever. So. I used it to basically put this, tie this behind me like this. I mean, I can pull this out and it'll wrap over around, but I just want it out of my way. So that's what this is. It's not anything special. It's just, I just want it more or less out of the way so I could just wear the backpack because I wear it from my back to my front to my back. And it, and it works really well. It's so small. Uh, I'm amazed how the small little backpack can just hold everything that I need. It's like it was just made just for me, amazingly. Again, I, I, simple Walmart, uh, probably very not very expensive. And so uh, here you go. This is what I got, and it's really light. This is something I can probably carry every day. Um, again, this is the 
brand is this? It's the uh, Ozark Trail Outdoor Equipment. Um, so, let me go ahead and just put the uh, put my fanny pack in there now, because you know sometimes you get tired of carrying this. So it fits with a fanny pack. I'm tired of wearing it. It's right in there, really perfect. So you got a little profile here. And by the time you get it to something like this where you, you might fill it to where it gets that shape, it's almost like holding a um, let me see. It's almost like holding a maybe three month old baby that's about the size of this thing I mean literally it's just like a, a three month baby so it fits really well in front of your body over your chest and stomach area on your back as well um, easy to carry too because it's so small but yet it holds a lot it holds a lot um, as far as I'm concerned as my uh, what I have in here can keep me going as far as my digital virtual life, uh, trading bitcoins. Um, really essential if I'm going to be outside, away from an outlet, power outlet. Um, so this is kind of what I got going on here. Plus the little pouch it carries carries my gun, which I can also put on my hip, uh, attach it to my hip on my fanny as well, and actually hold other things in here as, as well. Um, if you get tired of holding this, put this inside here. So a lot of things uh, really useful and this eventually does slide out. So it's not like it's stuck in here, I can't slide it out. It's just a little hard to slide in sometimes. So. Ah, there we go, it's all set. And then again, I, when I get a little tired of holding this, just plop it on here, it's just like a holding it's like a little grocery bag or a little tote bag for a guy, but um, I've been carrying this for about two, well, one full day and the other I just got set up. So first time I got it, I just got set up, barely took it out. The second day, uh, I took it off, full day, a movie theater, mall, whatever, and uh, it looks normal. There's nothing too peculiar about it to raising eyebrows um, and it's it's once you wear it on your back man it is it is like it's very comfortable and uh, you know I went to the movies went to the mall I went to the pool community pool could have been could have been a beach or a park or a lake whatever um, and I was able to still stay connected, uh, trade bitcoins, especially over the holiday, um, because if you know anything about bitcoins, it trades 24-7. So, anyway, this concludes my episode on this uh, little backpack. It is awesome. It's small, but I can't believe I just put in everything that I need uh, and that I wanted in this small little package. And not only that, um, I haven't even used, I haven't even used this yet. I haven't even used the, the little water pack that came with it. Um, so maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, maybe I'll just save it for an emergency because I don't want to be sucking on this thing and having it kind of, uh, this is replaceable, but, um, why use it when, you know, I use this in a, in a, urban or suburban environment or city environment where uh, typically if I'm hungry I'll just go somewhere and, and, and use you know you know use uh, oh, never mind. I can't pull it out uh, use money or a credit card or Bitcoin 
to go buy food, you know, um, maybe when things get really bad and I'm, I'm going to be out of water supply for a couple days or for the journey of my trip, um, and that's a concern for me, I might fill this up and uh, then use this. But uh, it's nice to have that option there. It's kind of cool. Actually, I like it. I like having that idea that it can be used as water storage. So, anyways, this concludes this episode. Um, feel free to uh, like, uh, dislike, um, or leave a comment or even a video response. Until next time, stay tuned. Bye.